development of the 360 began in early 2003, time when Peter Moore, former president of Sega of America, joined Microsoft after pulling the plug on the Dreamcast manufacturing. Initially known as Xbox 2, Xbox Next, Xbox FS and Next Box, the Xbox 360 was finally unveiled on MTV by May of 2005, right when I bought my first original Xbox. I was finally able to embrace Microsoft's brand new console three years later by September of 2008. It was on a kind of trading campaign in where we were requested to take an old system plus two or three games and we could bring home an Xbox Arcade for only 49 euros. Yeah, I traded my fully working good old and mint silver PS2 for the Xbox 360. So by then I was desperate to try Baja Edge of Control that was exclusive to consoles and still my favorite on this particular system, so this trade came at exactly the right time. Later also got a free 20GB hard disk directly from Microsoft There was a couple years later replaced by a bigger one. Its first unit suffered tremendously from overheating, resulting on the infamous Red Ring of Death and forcing Microsoft to extend the 360's warranty to 3 years. Two major hardware revisions followed, the 360S, also known as the Slim Model, released in 2010, and three years later the 360E arrived, showing off the design of the 360 successor, the Xbox One. I still have my original model of the 360 running and working flawlessly, and as I've mentioned a couple of times, it's one of my favorite consoles ever, not only for the amazing first and third party titles available that were most of the times better than on its main rival, but also due to its superb controller that is for me one of the best ever made until then. Also back when it was released, the 360 introduced new features to the video gaming scene like for instance HD graphics, matchmaking, achievements and gamer score, friend lists, a market for indie games and the revival of retro games just to name a few. The Kinect also left a huge mark in gaming history that blew everyone away and became the fastest selling consumer electronic device in history, also helping to extend the life of the 360. Obviously that I haven't played everything that was out for the system and most of these titles are multi-platform. Nonetheless, even those that I've played for instance on the PC have a kind of nice vibe that makes me come back to the 360 version like for instance Grand Theft Auto 5. So guys, let me know down on the comments section below your favorite titles for the Xbox 360. You'll certainly have a bunch that I've never tried before. Looking forward to hear from you, in the meanwhile feel free to browse the channel for more awesome stuff from It's a Pixel thing.